Hey everybody, this Austin, my son, he's visiting from Utah. He's gonna help me out today. We're gonna do some uh, bee escapes on these hives. It's time for honey. We're gonna walk around briefly. I'll show you how strong they look. It's amazing. And then we'll show you, first of all, why I do bee escapes, and then we'll show you how we put them on these hives. Okay, so here are the bee escapes. There's a couple kinds here. I just ordered a bunch of these. I love these. They're the Saracel bee escapes. If you look right here, you can see it has these little cones. So this is on the hive like this. There's a lot of little slits here so the bees above can smell the bees below. And once they go through these little holes right here, they come out of the cones beneath the bee escape, they can't get back up into the hive. I really like this design. They're a little more expensive than the traditional ones. Anyway, I ordered these from Pierco. Aaron was really good to help me out with this and he got me the order out really quickly. This is more of the traditional type that you'll see more of. Uh, this is the type that I used mostly last year. I had, I think, 30 of these but uh, you could tell they've been used and they worked well. The principle on these is similar. It's got a hole here with the screen so they can smell the bees below. And that screen covers this and there's like three exits. So the bees will walk out through here. They can't figure out how to get back in. The reason you use these is to make it a lot easier when you're pulling honey off the hives. The bees have evacuated the honey boxes. So you just bring, the, bring your truck or trailer up here. You pop the top off, take the honey and go. And uh, it really works well. Last year I tried that for the first time. It does add a step, but it's so much easier to pull the honey sleepers uh, when you use bee escapes. So we're gonna get set up here and show you how we do this. Okay, this is a hive we've shown in a few recent videos. Look at this thing, how crazy packed it is. Positive, there's a lot of honey in there. The top box for sure will be coming with us when we pull it off in a couple of days. But uh, right now we're gonna get these bee escapes on here. But these bees are doing really well. Most of these big hives are gonna get some honey taken off this to go around. For some reason, the bees are all the way around the rim here. I wonder if last time when I was in them, if I just one of the frames isn't down in there all the way. For some reason, they're all the way around the rim. Interesting. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke them, pull the lid off here. Dang, there's a lot of bees in this thing. There we go. Look at all those bees right here. Look at this. Ha, it's awesome. I love it. So what I got to do here is remove this top box. I think this is probably a box of foundation under here. So I'm probably just going to do the top box this time. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Let me show you what they're doing here. The bees are phenomenal. Starting to draw it out. That's just in a few days. We're actually a little bit kind of between flows right now. So um, when this towel kicks in, it's really close. They should fill that up uh, with comb and nectar. So this thing right here, the way it's set up, we're gonna put the cones down. Sits right there like that. You got all the little slits right here that the bees can smell below. There's also a little bit of space right here for the bees to come down into. And then we'll just put this box on top. Like this. That's all we gotta do. Just leave them alone without bugging the bees, without bumping the bees, without blowing the bees, and just let them work their own way out of there. I don't wanna have a space up there for them to come back into. So we'll put tape around any entrances, any upper entrances they can get into. So the bees can't get back in the top. We'll put this on here. Hopefully it'll sit kind of flat. And it does. And that's it. That's all we got to do. Leave it alone for a couple days. Come back Friday. Pull this box of honey off. It's Wednesday right now. It's ideal to leave it on there for one to two days. Uh, so we're going to leave it on here till Friday. Come up here Friday, pull it off, and take it to the place where we're going to extract the honey. So any of these hives that have holes in them or the wood's rotten or anything, we'll take some duct tape and cover up any cracks keep them from getting in. That's right here. <coughs> A little smoke's getting me. But I think it's, it's sealed up pretty good. I don't think they can get in. Okay, Austin's gonna help me with these here. On a previous video, I talked about how we came in and we put queen excluders uh, beneath 
We put the queen excluders above the brood and everything above those queen excluders, the bees have free reign to put honey in. And so we've already done that. So these bee escapes are designed to, I may not have been real clear, to get the bees out of the honey supers and down below so it's easy to pull the honey boxes off. Anyway, we're just going to whip through these three here real quick. We'll see how we do here. Hopefully we got at least a box on each of these, maybe more. Now this one right here I don't think is ready to harvest from. It wasn't real strong. I'll peek in here real quick, but yeah, they're not doing anything in there, so we're gonna leave them alone. The hive is a little weak. Let me pull this frame out here and kind of show you what it's doing. That right there, my friends, is a beautiful frame of honey. Look at that. So we're probably gonna end up harvesting this top box right here. Um, there is a frame next to it though that is not capped. That may have been a frame I put in a little bit late. It does have nectar in it. What? Okay, that size cap. These must have been on the outside of the box, and so they should be fine. Here's a little test you can do. You can take and you can shake it like this. You got a little bit coming out, but not much. I think it's okay since this thing is like 90% capped. I like for my honey boxes to be at least 80 to 90% capped, preferably 90% capped. I think we're good. There's a little bit on this side that's not capped, but I think we're okay. So we'll take that box. Hoping to get a couple of boxes off of this hive. Let's pull this off and look. Oh, so I'll grab that one and just kind of hold it. It's heavy. Probably weighs about 35 to 40 pounds. This was a box of new foundation I put in here. Look at this. Oh yeah. But in this box, the outside frames aren't quite done yet. Also, so I think we'll leave this one alone. Let them work on it some more. There is going to be another honey harvest in about a month. So I'm really not too determined to take all the honey this time. That one's ready to go. Oh my word, look at that. You want to move it up? Yeah, we're going to move this one up above the other one and put the bee escape between them. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is a Pierco plastic frame. Extra wax, triple wax. You see what they do with that? Now, this one is not ready to go. So we'll pull this one from the middle and put it in there. And I think we'll be good to go. Let's look on this side. Yeah, don't forget there's one on the ground too. Yep. We've got a little bit of uncapped on here, but it'll be fine because everything inside of there is capped. We're in good shape. Let's pull this one out and we'll switch them. There you go. Yeah, let's put that one on the edge over there. So we're just trying to get all the honey we're going to take above the bee escape. Yep, yeah, this one's good to go. Let's take that next one over, that one. It's got one side mostly capped, but we'll use that one next time. All right, Austin's going to pick this box up. It's above the queen excluder. Okay. Let's set this one down on there. Is this going to stay? We'll put the bee escape on the top. Like this? Mm-hmm. I'm smoking a little bit. <laughs> okay. Just hooks on there like that. And we'll put those two boxes on top. Heavy, aren't they? <laughs> That'd be easier to come in from this angle. Oh my gosh. More than 30 pounds. <laughs> yeah, probably weighs more like 40. And put the lid on. And we'll go ahead and just go whip through these and then we'll come back and we'll tape up any cracks. This one, it was new foundation. They've got it drawn out, but it's not, none of it's capped yet. Look at this. Is that beautiful or what? Look at this. How awesome is that? Lots of honey in that thing, it's packed. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this up. We'll also set that box down on here. We'll go from the, yeah, there you go. Put the bee escape on there. Okay, here we go. Not a big deal. Okay. These are a pain when they're close like this, actually. Okay, let's do this together, ready? All right, lid on there. Yeah. 
box is packed right here. Just amazed at these bees. Feel that. They're feisty. They're getting even through my gloves a little bit. They got Austin already. One of the negative things about being a sideliner is sometimes you gotta do stuff. Not at the best time of the day to do it. Yeah, that honey in there is not capped yet. They do have it drawn out though, pretty much. And the, the queen of scooter is under, the, under that box. So we'll just put it on here. Ooh, they're getting after me a little bit. They're feisty, Austin. Yes, this time of the day is not the best time of day to do them because they're all home. All right, so we got these three done. So far, a total of five boxes of honey we're gonna pull. That's about two and a half five gallon buckets and we're only four hives in. We've been at it, the bees got fired up. We got that done. Austin counted the boxes above the bee escapes and we got 21 out here. So that'll be a little more than 10 five gallon buckets, I think, yeah. or somewhere around that amount. So that's pretty good they'll take here. 50 gallons from this little bee yard and we'll have a bigger harvest hopefully in about a month when we put these boxes back on here yeah we just got one or two boxes off the top of each one so <laughs> we have got a little yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool it's a it's a big year so far did you have fun austin yeah i did i like it i'm glad austin got to come down and help me out with this today really helped me this evening we're gonna try and go to the farm but it may be too dark by the time we get there so anyway it's been fun if y'all like what you see hit the thumbs up button and uh that's it for now y'all take care and be safe this video is sponsored by Laura Bees. If you're in the market for a high quality oxalic acid vaporizer, you should check out LauraBees.com.